got baptized by a street car. <laughs> You ready? I don't look very good. <laughs> well, we are en route to English Mountain, Tennessee. With Beaver It's actually here. Newport, Tennessee. <laughs> Vlogging. You gotta vlog everything. Pumping gas. <laughs> Where's your shorts at? I can't see them. Just <laughs> film you, see how you like it. Unexpectedly. <laughs> English Mountain Raceway. We're getting ready for the drivers meeting right now. There's a lot of bald spots on that track. It's going to be tricky first round until uh, all the bald spots start to go away. There's been a lot of hard tire cars racing on it. We'll see what happens. I've been, been told the left lane's a little bit better. Don't burn out. I might have had it. I might have had it in the shot. Don't stay no burp. Hell no. He did a backward burnout. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's, gonna got, be, it's gonna be over there. All right, we got backwards burnouts here. We're doing everything crazy tonight. Who are you racing first round? I've got this guy in a black Camaro, like 78 or 9, white hood. He said that he hasn't made a hit yet on this on this car, so he's kind of in the dark. What we're is gonna it, small make block a, nitrous probably deal. I think it's small block nitrous, but we're gonna um, we're gonna play it safe. I'm gonna turn it down just a little bit on the hit. There's some bald spots out there. I don't want to knock the tire off and risk losing to somebody I shouldn't. So I'm gonna make it conservative. Should be fairly conservative. I don't right. know. I haven't had but two hits on this engine yet, so we'll see what happens. I'll drive it. Who you got first round? Some at first I thought it was a mod because it's supposed to be like a Hellcat or something. I was like, oh sweet, but then some guy was like, it's a world record Hellcat or something. It's a world record yeah, Hellcat. Yeah, they said it been like low five, so I don't know. We'll see. Oh shit. I'm gonna send it. I should have bet on that. Why didn't I bet? Finally, I get an opportunity where I can bet, and I'm not out here throwing dollar bills around. Oh, you should have. <laughs> I need my dollar bills. <laughs> one out of the way. Huh? Just one out of the way. There you go. That looked like a good pass. It was straight. Oh, I yeah. I put more in it. I'm just conservative.
it through first round. The truck made a pretty decent pass. I had a conservative tune-up in it just to see if I could get down the track. Um, I didn't think I had to turn it up a whole lot for the guy I was racing, but you never know. I just wanted to be safe on my first hit. The track is uh, its a little sketchy, but I'm used to it. I think second round, we've got this little orange Camaro. Looks like a pretty fast car. I've heard rumors that the last pass, he might have broke a piston or a ring or something because it shot sparks out about half track and he had to shut it down. So we'll see what happens. I can never take anybody lightly. my best I put a pretty good tune up in it. it just didn't seem to make the power that it needed to he beat me fair and square it's just how it goes I have to come back better faster next time how confident do you feel going into this next round I feel pretty good, I feel pretty good. ask me again uh, if I get to the finals we'll see how it goes. <laughs> How confident do you feel? I feel pretty confident because what I can tell you is that this right here is a bracket car, which means that he is new to the small tire racing world. Yes, the car probably has a lot more shit than Eric does. Yes, Eric has the absolute worst luck in the history of human luck. But what Eric does have is a set of balls that are the size of coconuts. <laughs> he will drive that thing down the lane if he needs to. That's going to be Eric's advantage in this semifinal Now this is round. the bracket car here, right? That's the bracket car. Oh boy. Yeah. Real quick, about to go into the semifinal round. How you feeling? Pretty confident. Pretty confident. You got are in. This got a five car though. Woo! That Mustang's quick. Can't be a good race. It's quick. What lane did you get? Left. Left lane. There it is. gentlemen. Holy. The day after race day, the fun day, we are headed to go go-kart racing today and we're going to see if Eddie can pull off another win tonight. It'll be his 17th in a month. He literally bought an RV with his winnings and now we're riding in it. <laughs> So what people don't realize is when you're racing a go-kart, 
you would think that the way to do it is to main traction all the way throughout the laps. But I'm here to tell you, a little bit of slide is a good thing. So make sure that you're constantly riding that edge of traction and sliding and knowing where to slide. And I'm gonna drive around all these fools. What about the old man strategy? I'm gonna bowser every one of them. <laughs> What's your strategy, Andrea? I'm gonna use my weight to my advantage. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> you ain't slowing down today. <laughs> the two girls. Oh, we can oh, yeah. Everybody has their own. How do you feel to win your first go kart race? I got a lot more to win. I'm excited. It's fun. <laughs> Like I said, I'm Cash Dob and I'm 13 years old and I have a Facebook page, I have an Instagram and I have a YouTube channel and all of those are just Cash Dob and if you don't know how to spell my last name, you can buy one of the two CDs I have for sale for $10 and my name is right on that.